Hi guys, welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So, guys, I was talking a lot about my charity shop pickups and I was waiting for them to come back to me with if I could go and pick up this silver PlayStation 2. Because uh, you guys would have seen in one of my boot sale videos, the last one that I'd done, I picked up the box, but it had a PS Mini in it. So, I got the call, it passed the pack test in so they can sell that console. And I brought that console and I've now put it into the PlayStation 2 box. So a bit gutted guys, I packed it all away and I was like, oh, I promised I was going to show everyone. So, yeah guys, so got the two pads. And I've got, I'll oh, better take all this out. Got the wire, got the other wire. Oh guys, I'm just going to hold it this way. I've got the console. So I put the console because all this uh, polystyrene and the booklets are in here already. So I've now got a complete console. So I am extremely happy with that and if anything I am at the moment I am just riding this wave of luck with my uh, charity shop pickups and what I'm actually getting at the moment. Uh, so yeah, picked that up to, well picked the PS2 up yesterday, put it in the box today and then I've got the PlayStation Mini that was in here. I've put into like my box of joy pads and necessities uh, and no doubt I'll try and find a box for that. I've now sorted out the Wii, so I'm looking at it, the Wii Sports Resort Pack. So it did have four uh, handheld controllers in there. I've taken two of them out, put them in the uh, kind of the necessity bag that I've got with joypads and everything. And I've just left two in there. I know it comes with one, but I've left two in there, got all the instructions and put all the correct games in there. So that's now a complete package as well. Guys, when they called me back to get the PlayStation, there was a few games in there as well. I thought there was a lot more than what there was. Uh, there was no FIFAs, I don't believe, but I'll show you guys what was in there and how it come. So, oh, when I went to pick up the PlayStation 2, it came in this box, which I'm not keeping. This box is going. Uh, so, yeah, and it had the PlayStation 2. Oh, I've left, the, uh, I've left the PlayStation Mini in here, so I haven't put it in yet. So, strangely enough, guys, because the first time I looked at the PlayStation Mini taken out of the PS2 box, I didn't realise the joypads are like that. I'm assuming that's for the Mini anyway. So, yes, yeah, so I've got two of those with the Mini. And the classic thing I always see with the Mini, so with this one, again, I need to, I didn't realise that the ejection button or something, I need to do something to get this to actually shut because it's not shutting at the moment. Uh, I have got three of these now, and those have got no problem. But I have seen on one of the other channels where I was watching uh, Retro Rick, channel that because he does a lot of gaming uh that he had an issue similar to this so i need to watch that video and just see what he done to uh, rectify that issue and then guys in terms of that's just the wires that come with a ps mini and in terms of what come in the box i got then so in here got the box addish, uh, additional to the playstation 2 two guns so I guess these are for Time Crisis and without doubt my favourite game of the shooting is Point Blank. Used to play it when I was a kid in the arcade machines down at Hearn Bay. Uh, so I remember Point Blank very fondly. Uh, so yeah, but I don't I don't believe these work on the new tellies. And I've been after for a while because of that, because these don't work on the new tellies. And if they do guys, or there's a hack to get these to work on the new flat screen tellies, Definitely drop it in my comments because I do not know a way to do it. And I'd love to play Point Blank. I've got Point Blank 1 and 2 and 3 uh, that I can see there. And I've got uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4 of Time Crisis. So I've got them all. I just don't know how to get it to work on the flat screen telly because of the rev resolution or something. Uh, so I've been trying to pick up one of them old school tellies. Only the small ones uh, just to play the shooting games. Uh, so I have been on the lookout for those uh, and I'll keep looking. So yeah, I had those in there. Don't know why randomly I've got some SCART wires, so they just go in the uh, additional boxes. Got the PS1 mini instruction books that come with that. And then, so in terms of games, guys, that came with this uh, PS2. So I've got Sims 2 Pets. I'm checking these because I've not checked any of them and we could have a uh, bit of change up. No, 007, Russia with Love's in there. Sims 2. Oh, no, no, no. Right, I didn't look at this already. Right, here we go. Sims 2. Sims Pets. That goes in there. This is... Oh, that is scratched quite a bit as well. So I'm going to have to give that a bit of a clean. If you can see the scratches on there. Uh, but I'll give that a bit of a clean. Uh, rally Racing game, which is in there. Fantastic Four. is in there. 
Grand Theft Auto 1. Strangely, that was in there. Uh, it's got the maps in there, if this is the right maps. Must be, Liberty City. And Fire City. I don't remember any maps coming with them, to be fair, but... I'll make sure it's the right game as well. Yep. So, happy with that. Uh, Spider-Man. Yep, Spider-Man. Uh, oh, random disc. I've got a case for that. Uh, oh, that might be with my cases. I'll check that in a minute. Seek and Destroy, which I've picked up before. And then Gran Turismo 3. So, unlike yesterday, guys, all these games are here. Uh, Battlefront. And that's a blue case. So, Battlefront 1. Battlefront 1. I actually got this from the boot sale when I brought all those games for a pound that just was missing. So that's now complete. Uh, so yeah, happy with those games. And then guys, I did pop to the charity shops today. And I know some of you guys would have known that when I've gone back to you in the comments. Uh, that I've gone to a few charity shops today and I've picked up some games and a teddy. So I'll start off with the teddy to begin with because it's a little bit different. So I went to an area called Sick Up. Uh, checked out the charity shops. There wasn't too much there to be fair, but I went in, there were some PS3 games, all the Call of Duties, but I left them. Uh, don't need any more of those. And then I looked in the window, and this is the, always the uh, piece that I need to bear in mind when I go to charity shops. I never really look in the front windows, and I tend to stay away from looking at the counters, so the stuff in the glass counters. And that's where I found my best two items today. So the charity shop I went to, the first one, PS3 games left, walked back out of the charity shop, and I thought, oh, I'm just going to look in the window. Looked in the window... Saw this guy sitting there. So it's the, it's the re edition one from 2009, but still desirable and still demands some money. So up to about £30. They wanted £4 for it. Uh, and they were so thankful when I gave them £4. They didn't think they were going to shift it. And it's got the voice box, if you can hear this. Come closer. Real close. Tell me the truth. Aren't I good looking? So uh, quite random. Don't know why it's got that voice box in there but uh yeah very desirable as well i'll just keep this guys and just put it on the uh, sofa that's over there with ted uh, out of the movies movie ted uh so yeah happy with that for four quid then went to another charity shop uh quite randomly enough they had loads of games in there but nothing desirable then i got to the front of the till because you got to walk out because of the way covid set up and you got to walk around and i just spotted all these ps1 games so I started looking at them they wanted a fiver each nothing that i really needed there so it's like men in black uh some of like the uh, Soviet strike, these kind of games. So I left them and then they had some Wii games. So they had Donkey Kong Country Returns. And you guys would have seen from my videos, I think I got three or four already. They wanted 5 99 I weren't going to pay that anyway. I would have picked up if it was a quid maybe. Uh, but I've already got it, so I'll pass on that one. They did have Mario Party 8. They wanted £10, as you guys can see there. I got it down to 7 Uh I'm happy with it. I need this for my own collection for my Wii games. So £7, I don't really see this this often, I think. And if it is really cheap, people just snap it, snap them up straight away because of the sell-on value. So yeah, I'm quite uh, I'm quite happy with this game. £7. Uh, not played it before, so brought that. Guys, I guess the other thing as well, just quickly while I've seen Mario Party, that Nintendo at the moment are on their 35, 30, 35th anniversary. I, I think it's for Mario, to be fair. Uh, and they've got quite a few pre-releases being released at the moment. So I think it's like Mario Sunshine, Mario World. And there's another one as well. It might be Mario 3D or something where they put them all on the Wii Switch game. And then they's all, they've all, they're also releasing the Mario Kart where you can film yourself or edit yourself in your own house and play the game. And then they've released this little handheld game which definitely appealed to me. Which is the Game Game & Watch. So the little handheld back in the day. You used to get Mario Brothers, you used to get Cement Man, you used to get... Uh, Donkey Kong, and they're the little games that you open up and you just play. They've brought one out of Mario. So the first Mario on the uh, on the normal Nintendo, they brought it out in a game as a game and watch. It's forty nine pound and it's for pre order and it's one per customer. I definitely think you know don't quote me on this. So don't go out and everyone buy it, but I definitely think they're going to increase in money for the simple reason is they're one per customer. I believe they're going to sell out. I don't think they're going to be mass produced. I think it's only something for the thirty Mario's thirty fifth anniversary. I brought one this morning, so I've placed my order. They don't take the money out of your account until it gets dispatched, uh, but my order's been uh, successful. It's been claimed. I've got my spot, and I will get one of those in November. 
Uh, but I'm just saying, in case there's any Mario fans out there, it's the little Game & Watch. It's colour as well, which is brilliant. And it's a Mario. So I picked that up this morning and I thought I'd just let you guys share that with you guys. So yeah, picked that up. Picked up a Blu-ray, The Void. This is all from another charity shop now. And these were all £1 each. Uh, so this is going back nearer where I live. Uh, there's a couple of charity shops. So the ones I do quite good with the consoles and the games. But there's a... Uh, oh, what is it? I don't know if it's a Scope or an Ox fan. Uh, which is started to get games and they know me and they just go whenever I go in there they go oh it's the games man it's the games man I'm like no toys and comics is what anything pop culture but yeah they kept some games and I didn't even realise that they knew me as well as what I thought they did uh, so they brought out some Wii games which I've got here they brought out this Blu-ray because I said look I like Blu-ray as well so I brought that for a pound The Void and it's a good movie uh, I brought these and then they, they had a stack of other Wii games, nothing really desirable there that I wanted but I thought I better pick these up because they've held them aside for me and then I didn't realise, they said they've got about another 40 Wii games and there's some doubles there but they can't get to them yet so I was like do you want me to help you and they're like no 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 if you just keep coming back we'll have them out by Sunday so I went back today, they weren't out. Uh, I'll go back tomorrow and let's see if they're still out and they're saying thanks, thanks just bear with us but the Wii games I picked up for £1 were... Spider-Man 3 Another Sonic and Mario at the Olympic Games Beijing This was a good one So uh, House of Dead 2 and 3 I don't currently have that So happy with that And I've got a lot of the uh, guns kind of That you put the controllers in for the Wii So that would be good uh, And then Mario Tennis So I picked them up I'm hoping to go back And I'm hoping they're going to have some Zelda's there and I'm Because your brain just runs away with you. When they go, they got more games. All of a sudden, all I'm thinking is Mario Kart, Mario, Smash Brothers, and Zelda. That's what's going around in my head. Because I've had some good games that were in the ones that I picked up. I left behind the likes of like... Uh, it's, oh, what is it? Range Rover Off-Road Driving Game. I left behind the Wii Play and the Wii Music. And I also left behind Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix. Because I've already got it. Uh, but yeah, a lot of games for £1, so I just keep going in there. And at the moment, guys, like I'm saying, I'm just riding this wave, especially with the gaming stuff. I wouldn't mind if I start to get some more toy-related bits and pieces in, or even comics. Uh, but it's happy to pick up the My Pet Monster today. So in all, I've had a really good week in terms of charity shop pickups, and I know you guys have enjoyed the videos. Uh, highlight from the charity shop so far is definitely the Wii console. And just completing... Just completing a playstation 2 and the silver saturn ed ed edition is unbelievable you know i brought the box on the wednesday uh, when i let that boot sale video out not to know the next day in a charity shop would be the console and the two pads so i don't if that's not luck i don't know what is uh the fact that i've just completed that in one go so yeah guys thanks a lot for tuning in it is a very short video but i thought i'd just show you this because if i get another load this weekend i'll just be inundated with stuff to bring you guys so yeah definitely this is uh the charity the last charity shop video for this week i'm gonna do a boot sale video on sunday because it's sunday and we are coming to the end of the season now on the uk boot sales i think we've mostly got another two to three weeks i'm hoping they extend them uh because of covid and they've missed out a little bit so they might do it to october however in the area i'm from uh and a lot of the other reselling guys or youtube guys i know this that are familiar with my area uh there is a winter boot sale which runs from end of october all the way till march uh and it is in a field it gets bloody muddy and people will turn up and there will still be people selling if it is bucketing down with rain because i've seen it before but it's literally like you're in and out uh so i'm hoping to pick up some bits and pieces but there is definitely more competition and you have to be there really early so i will still be bringing boot sale videos i'm gonna have to figure out how i get some light onto the gopro so i might have to bring a torch or use my phone uh torch just to so you guys can see some of the footage but definitely uh, gonna keep going with the boot sales and guys as soon as we start getting some more toy fairs and comic fairs so you guys haven't seen this at the moment i attend pretty much every london comic mark every london gaming mark and every toy fair at uh at snow snow down it's not snow down it's sand down so i attend those all year so there's i think there's four at sand down there's five at uh alpington kent toy fair uh that i go to and then the comic marks i think there's five a year and the same with the gaming so there's still going to be a lot of footage and it'd be unbelievable the stuff we see at uh sand down 
and that's where I buy more desirable uh, kind of more investment pieces in terms of toys. So everything I get from Sandan has to be boxed. Uh, like you, you would have seen in the past, guys, that I've shown my uh, Masters of the Universe, uh, Castle Grey Skull. I've got the Bat Cave box in a plastic casing. Most of, some of my figures here would have come from Sandown. I'm very particular in terms of what I pick up, but I will definitely do some filming because as you go more and more to these toy fairs now, they're moving away from model cars and railway sets, which used to be most of them, and they're now moving into a lot of the 80s, 90s toys. There's a lot more of those vendors around, but you're starting to get a lot more gaming people turn up as well. So last time I went, I know my brother picked up an N64, picked up a PlayStation, uh, and a lot of games. So there's a lot more gaming vendors going to them. But you guys will be the judges that as you see the videos. I'm hoping there's going to be one at the end of September, but I'm not holding my breath in terms of the toy fair. If not, the last one of the year is usually in November. I've seen an email go out. Well, I've seen a post on some of the toy groups that there is a toy fair, which is going to still go ahead at the at the beginning of November. And it's an indoor event. So they're working quite closely in terms of how they're going to get people walking around. So if that goes ahead, I think that'll push start the rest of them. So no doubt, guys, there's going to be a lot of footage going forward as well. So guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Hope you enjoyed. Definitely stay tuned. I'm going to, I've got a lot more videos coming. And I'm going to start moving a little bit more as well into the live chat. So I've done one with Bizarro's Pieces uh, about two weeks ago where we spoke about toys, games... Uh, other bits and pieces. If you haven't seen that, go over to Bizarro's Pieces on YouTube and it's about an hour of me and Tom from Bizarro's Pieces just talking about all the trends. Uh, there's a lot of people in the live chat as well, so we've just gone back and forth talking to people. But I want to do that with some other uh, YouTubers that are on at the moment, so I'm seeing a lot of good content, especially in terms of resellers. Maybe uh, may have a live chat with a reseller, may have a live chat with some of the other toy collectors, toy hunters. I might even do a four-way chat. So there's four of us just having a good conversation and then have a live chat down the side so we can interact a bit more. Uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments, guys. If that's something you want to see, I'll definitely push on that going forward. Uh, so guys, again, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for your support. Please tick that thumbs up. And again, guys, any comments, leave them below. I'll come back to you guys. I love the knowledge that I'm getting currently as well and I'm loving the feedback. So yeah, guys, just keep it coming. Have a lovely week.